The theme of tonight's midnight feast is seal the deal. The lobster's out and cooked perfectly, but I decided to use a smaller portion of lobster because the lobster, to me, is just there to complement the egg. The egg is the star of my dish. Midnight is quickly approaching. I need to add my uni butter to my sauteed vegetables. I don't want them to be swimming in the butter, so I'm just gonna toss them lightly and get them on the plate. I used my midnight special in two ways. I fried it and I put it in the butter, so I feel like there's no way I won't be going to the second round. Please tell me that is a bacon cocktail. Bacon cocktail, yes. It's a bacon cocktail, everybody. <laughs> this is gonna get all the judges in the mood. The drink I'm making is a spicy bacon Bloody Mary. I see that Lee's making a Bloody Mary, which is heavy and spicy. Nothing sexier than kissing a guy that tastes like tomato juice and horseradish. The bacon, it's exactly where I want it to be, but then I add it to my drink, and it all kind of just took a swim, and then, in turn, kind of got lost in the drink. So that's kind of freaking me out. Chefs, two minutes left. I know my duck didn't spend enough time in the oven at the right temperature, but I'm running out of time, and I need to take it out now. I know ducks should be served medium rare. It's awful. But I hope the judges like it rare. Ow. 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 Nice. Less than 30 seconds. With only a few seconds left, I realize I need to put my drink together. I'm making a bourbon French kiss with blackberry and mint. Sebastien, I need that cocktail in that cup. Yep. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to pour the drink and put the duck on the plate. Oh. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Time is up. Somehow, I managed to pour one drink, but I didn't have time to pour all the drinks. So that's it. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs>